mission admission mission impossible uh, well we've been trying to get inputs uh, from whether it's Lucknow, Delhi, and try to understand what students are really bothered about. Some of them really talking about the number of seats that need to be increased. And many of them who come in the 70s and below percentage uh, keep wondering what are the other options. Some others who can afford it are looking at foreign universities. But if you have questions, do put those questions across because we have with us this uh, today uh, Mr. Pradham Kumar, the vice principal of uh, Hindu College, another college which has... Uh, cutoffs which are as high as 99% uh, for commerce. So, uh, Mr. Pradham, thank you very much for joining us. We understand it's a really busy time for you. You, you, you have to sign on all those admission forms. So, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, could you first and foremost tell us about what are the, uh, what is the admission looking like at uh, Hindu? I think apart from SRCC, you topped uh, with a 99% uh, uh, for the cutoff. Hello. Mr. Kumar, if you can hear me. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Could you tell us uh, what is the admission status at your college? You have about 800 uh, seats totally. You had a very high cutoff uh, in commerce, yet again, 99%. So with the entire cut first cutoff list, are your seats almost looking full? Yeah, we have total uh, around uh, 750 seats uh, and uh, uh, till yesterday, we had filled up 493 seats in total. We have filled in 493 seats in total, and particularly in commerce and economics. Our seats are almost full, and uh, by the time uh, the first list is over, I think most of the admissions will be over but in commerce and economics. But according to the new admission process, uh, isn't it supposed to be this way that all the students who fit, on, fit into that uh, cut-off list have to be ad given an admission? Definitely, definitely. Who will, uh, the students who will be uh, uh, figuring in the first cut-off list, they will all be uh, given admissions. Nobody will be denied admission on that account. So we still have two more days, uh, today and Monday, for this uh, first list. And all those students who qualify uh, in the first list, so they'll be given admissions. But then would you have more, sir, more students than the number of seats? So that's not a problem. Uh, whoever qualifies in the cutoff, they will be admitted, even if we have some uh, uh, over admissions. Uh, so we'll take care of them. And uh, so that's a rule of, uh, we have to follow the rule of the University of Delhi, okay. that uh, the students whose names are in the cutoff, whose marks are in the cutoff, they have to be admitted. So we will admit them all. Nobody will be denied admission uh, if right. uh, he or she is in the cutoff list. That's okay. not a problem. Right. Uh, we uh, have a caller online. We have Narsima online. Uh, Narsima, what's your question? Uh, good morning, uh, uh, ma'am. I am a very worried uh, father as... Uh, my son, on, my son only secured 67% and uh, my wife, I'm based at Bombay, my wife and the son running pillar to post and they found out Deshbandhu, the last cut, first cutoff was 78, most of the uh, seats are filled. I can't afford to send him to private universities because they are charging a lot. Uh, so can you guide me whether uh, he's got some hope to go to go and take up uh, uh, some uh, uh, class, become uh, admission? Uh, yeah, uh, I think you should not lose hope uh, because uh, there are many evening colleges which offer BCom honors and BCom program also. Actually, there are two courses. We have BCom honors in DU and we have a BCom program course. So, uh, if the cutoffs are uh, high, uh, definitely first cutoffs are high, we can understand that. But now university will be uh, or the colleges will be declaring five cutoffs. So my advice will be you should keep trying uh, till the last cutoff is declared and even if the, you uh, don't get with such a percentage in any of the college, still we have hope because Delhi University has a school of open learning. So there we, uh, we will be able to cater or will be able to admit all the students. So right, that's an uh, option for you. Right, we also have so another call. Uh, your, your son will be a part of Delhi University. Right, we have another caller online, uh, Aditi calling in from Delhi. Aditi, what's your question? Uh, yes, hello. I am going to be applying at Ramjas for uh, BSE statistics. And I'd like to know whether, I mean, it was written that uh, while calculating your aggregate, you'll have to consider English, math, and any two science subjects. 
I wanted to know whether I can also include uh, economics as a science subject because it has a lot mm -hmm. of relevance in statistics. Now, see, economics is a part of social science. Right. So it cannot be included as a science subject, but definitely economics is included in the best of four. But it will be counted uh, as a part of the social science subject, and all the colleges are uh, they are counting economics in best of four. But it cannot be uh, labeled as a science. Typically, science you cannot equate it with physics, chemistry, botany, zoology. But as a social science subject, definitely all the colleges of Delhi University. they consider economics in best of four so that is the situation right uh, aditi ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster score card special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps